We lived with the Maasai in Kenya for two days. First day, we tried learning their language and culture, visited different villages, and of course, milked some animals. But on the second day, the real story begins here. So it is 7 a.m. in the morning now. We just woke up from our first night sleeping in the Maasai village. In our little Airbnb. <laughs> this is our Airbnb. This is literally an Airbnb that we got. Oh, really? Yeah. This is oh, I didn't know actual, you got it from Airbnb. This That's is crazy. actual Airbnb that we got. So these guys in the middle of the night, like around 2, two to 3 a.m., they started barking because... Um, they're like lions and hyenas and gazelles and stuff like that that just kind of roam around the property uh, in the middle of the night and this is obviously you know in the middle of nowhere this is the middle of the kenyan you know safari land and we have mount kilimanjaro back there somewhere but right now like the clouds and stuff are kind of heavy so we can't really see it uh, we got a little glimpse of it yesterday. Um, we're gonna show you our host, Jackson. He is standing right there with his family and his wife is preparing some coffee for us. You, what do Masai do like early morning when you guys wake up? Uh, we usually wake up and be for the, looking for goat. The goat, okay. And go to the, the mama to milk the cow and okay. milk the goat. And then they come inside in the tea. Okay. And then uh, when we finish tea, so we go inside to them, to the goat, and then uh, we mix, uh, we take the baby goat uh -huh. uh, for this side and uh, the, the and the big one. Mm -hmm. They go separate. Okay. They wish to eat the grass. Okay. And then they come back out. So and this is your daily ritual. Every single day you do that. Yeah. Every, every single, single day. day we do that. And that's her preparing. Uh, the tea right there? <laughs> yeah, that's now the wow. uh, tea there. So this is pretty much a squatty potty they got going on at the now house. And she's gotta figure it out with some wet wipes and toilet paper. So Medina over here um, popped the squad in Kenya National Park because there's no toilets here in the wild. So you make this uh, like a week when his skin like uh, is not uh, tight. You make another one more bigger. bigger. And then you, you make like that, you make a little, a little another one bigger. Even you can make a bigger than this one. Okay. So, and then after that, uh, he's going to be enough. Not uh, any painful again. Any mm -hmm. blood coming. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be fine. Then after that, we start to make for the, go to the ground. You catch the, you catch the sun and make the big one. Mm -hmm. The big one like a, like where the like something with the, the clay bed. yeah okay and then you make the big one and then you put it so and you put it in you, there that one you pick more and more and give them to come down okay yeah. that's how it looks like and he said he he cut it with like a blade right with the with the knife with a knife you, yeah you make the first cut with the knife yeah but it's small for the, it's a small knife small knife okay yeah you just cut it to make that out and why does he have it and you don't? Is there a reason behind that? Yeah, because me, uh, when I went to school. Okay. When I was young, so the school teachers, they would not allow. 
Oh, they, they don't allow that? They don't allow anyone yeah. in school. So okay. for him, he has be, never been in school. Okay. So he's just uh, grown up in, in the village and that is no... They, 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 they decided to put here. Okay. Yeah. So I noticed like, I'm gonna zoom in on your face actually. Okay. So you have a few markings on this side and, and I have on that side. This side. And all the Maasai people have it, like he has it too, right? Yeah. On both sides. Yeah. And you're talking about the teeth as well. And he has the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So he's missing the bottom two teeth and so are you. So yeah. what's the what's the cultural thing behind that? Why do you have that? Yeah, we started to have, yeah, we've been moving two times when the teeth grow. When you are small, the small teeth keep be taking off. Okay. So okay. this is show like uh, when I'm, uh, we go like somewhere like a city mm -hmm. or like uh, some place I don't know. So if I saw that someone have uh, teeth here in taking off, Mm -hmm. I can speak my language because I know he's, uh, he's a Maasai guy and I know uh, he cannot go to hurt me, he cannot do any bad thing to me. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a, it's like a safety thing. Do you know that they're from your tribe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know him, he's from my tribe. So and what is the language uh, that Maasai people speak? What is your uh, ethnic language? Ma. Ma? Ma? Yeah. That's, that's what it's called? Yeah. We call nice. Ma. And how do, you, how do you make the markings on your cheeks? So we make a circle like tiny uh -huh. and then we put it in the fire and also that one they have the mama the special mama is make it like okay this mother the females make it in the house the female make it okay so for all children you can say like maybe when they are young uh -huh. just taking the children and catching and so it. like so like that kid right there yeah he like doesn't have one. it on his face already so, have this how, one. so he already has it yeah he has already have it so how how young are they before you start marking them like, like that? Uh, you see, like maybe like two one, years old, three two years, years old. Yeah, two years old. Two years old. Yeah. Okay. And if he come like uh, and he has it as well, I see. Right? Yeah, I see. and also he have. Yeah, he's to got it too. Sometimes if he yeah, and he's got it as well. And what about his teeth? Yeah. And his are his, are his teeth missing too? The yeah. bottom. Uh. No, yeah, right? He's yeah. still not yet, but uh, soon next year. Next year, you're gonna pull them out. This year, he'll be taking off. And so you hold them down. <laughs> yeah, we hold and him you're gonna down. You gotta forcefully do it. Yeah, and you just take it by the knife. Okay, with yeah. a knife. Yeah, with the knife. You use, wow. Yeah, a small knife. We just taking. Okay. Yeah. And that's the that's the metal piece. So this is the metal tip. I will show you how they they make it. So, and is there like a specific design that you guys do? yeah so we make the fire here okay and then uh, when it come red uh-huh you just take like uh, this uh-huh and, and you then, put it on there and then the here okay yeah then you see then the mark be completely clean so right now he's gonna try to make fire no lighter no nothing if i can't make the fire i'm gonna pull out my matches <laughs> now I'm gonna fire fast. And then you, you put the camera away and then and then you can bring the camera back on me and be like I made fire. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> oh, it's smoking already. Mm -hmm. Help me. Come on. Get them up. Good. Good. It's still in fire. Oh, that's good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you blow on it now? Yeah, so now you you put the cover, uh -huh. so the fire it it they come out yeah, when you yeah. eating the powder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they covering it up right now. Uh, this special this is special wood. We we found that's one. yeah we found that one. Like by this one the home make the, in the Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. it's not fine here. You can't find that over. Yeah, we have to send people to go to the to the bush where they're flowing from Kilimanjaro. That's then really we they bring it here. Why the broken heart, bruh? Why? Cause cause this one always be breaking my heart. That's not cool. Make another one. He's trying to make my face. I already know it's gonna be disrespectful. Those are your braids? Those are my braids. 
Just one braid? Am I bullheaded? You gave me a box figure? What is that? Those are my hands? Oh god. Looks like a chariel. Yo, wow, how come everyone draws me like this? <laughs> this is me. So we get to take these two things home. We use these to make fire. This is from the tallest mountain and that is? Mount Kilimanjaro. And what kind of wood is this? It's, is this just, like, it's just like, you know, the tree when it's grow. Yeah. There's, uh, there's the big one and the small ones come there. They like still, a branch? Yeah, like okay. a branch. So this is a branch. Okay. And this is the, 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 tree, the big one now. So you just cut it and then you make flash. Is this from the same tree? Yeah. Okay, it's from yeah. the same tree. So yeah. this is from the branch and this is from the The, the root? actual root, yeah. 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 The big one, yeah. So now we are headed to the, uh, the cattle market, the animal market, to see if we can purchase um, a couple of animals and get it to the village over here. So we're at a Masaya market. This is what it looks like. We're gonna be purchasing a few goats to give to the to the people who are hosting us, the villagers. So now we're pretty much inside the livestock market and we're gonna pick out possibly one to two animals and negotiate some prices and give it to the village. And we're gonna slaughter one tonight and have a feast with like the whole village and everything. So we ended up um, getting the two goats, one male, one female. And these are the ones. So that's the male, right? Yeah. That's the boy. So, he, so he's gonna be dinner for tonight, and they're gonna keep that one for the village that we're giving to them. So now they're putting the the goat and the goats in the in the back of the car. So we're finally in the car, headed back to the village, and we got the goats in the trunk with us. Go. Molina's kind of afraid that they're gonna they're gonna eat her hair, so she's gonna sit all the way up front. Females. Our host is pretty much stopped dead center of the road while we're headed back to the village, um, and we are trying to walk up on these two wild giraffes. They're right there. One right there. I mean, the crazy part is. There could be all kinds of wild animals here. It could be a lion, it could be hyenas, like all kinds of stuff. And there's a baby giraffe right there. I have the goat um, by the tree over here till they're gonna slaughter one of them tonight and then the other one's gonna go with the family. Day two, they got us our lunch. Um, potatoes, carrots, some green peas, corn with rice. How is it? It's good, it's like soup. Soupy yeah, rice. It's like soupy rice. Yeah. So we have a few Maasai mamas over here teaching Madina how to make bracelets and necklaces like one of these. And they're all sitting over here. 
pretty much the beautiful too. jewelry that you see here. It's handmade, and they're gonna teach me how to do that. Can I have a smaller cake? Yeah. Whoa. Can I? And then and then the Miriana food. Here you go, we've got colors. So you can you can dry it on the board over there. There you go. So this is the way how they um, slaughter goats over here. Uh, the ritual is they suffocate the animal and then after that they will slaughter the animal. They drink the blood and all that stuff. They don't pretty much waste anything. So now they're actually, uh, they're going to be cutting the animal and we're going to have a feast tonight. I don't know how many baby here. <laughs> they just drink it. Yeah. <laughs> so these guys. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> um, so, these, so these guys like so they save the blood of the goat, and they literally like take it out of the goat's body, and they just drink it before it even starts clotting. Um, never seen that in my life before. So now that the goat is slaughtered, um, because it's raining outside, we got this little setup inside a. A little tent and they're cooking the the leg pieces and a part of a rib cage right here on the fire um cut half of that still too much yeah, that's good and let's see how this is gonna be pretty good so this is the goat Mm -hmm. We have rice over there. I think she made something with the potatoes because I'm seeing some peels. Mm -hmm. Let's see how's how's <laughs> mama's cooking. Yeah. <laughs> you can go back to Nairobi. I'm staying here. Wow! <laughs> you kicked me out. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. It's really good. It's like super juicy. Mm -hmm. We got fresh goat. That's why. Oh, yeah. So good. So even going from the front gate yeah. to this gate right here, yeah. we can be eaten by lions. Because last night when the dogs were barking, yeah. I came out with the flashlight. Yeah. I couldn't see it, but I heard them. Oh my God. Hi. Hi. See new outfit. New outfit every day. Look at him in his outfit. Every day. Yeah. Every day he's got new colors on. Yeah. <laughs> now it's a yellow and a red moment. Yeah. <laughs> So we boil the it's cinnamon. the meat, and okay. this medicine is for the blood wash. For the blood wash, okay. yeah. If you make uh, if, if you have you have any damage for the blood like dance, mm -hmm. you make clean and also you add your more blood in. Okay. Yeah. Do I eat it? Yeah, yeah. It. It's fine. It's good. It's good. Yeah. So just go. Hmm. Right. It's very fatty. It's like drinking bone marrow. This is like very, very rich, very fatty. Yeah, you can um, taste the fat and the oil. Oh yeah, you can definitely taste all the fat, oil, Looks the like bone tea. marrow. Even, even on top, like put the, on top you can like see the, the oil and the stuff in there. Yeah. Very rich. Unfortunately, 
definitely it's time for us to say our goodbyes but before we go i'm gonna choose a few items so i can remember them so now we are um in the middle of the village and the females of the village they call them mamas they are coming over here and before we leave they're gonna do like a thank you like a ritual cultural dance and like singing and stuff for us um so they're all lining up right now to like show their appreciation in a way We are leaving us. Yeah, uh, unfortunately. Well, yeah. We're still gonna be together. You're driving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they say thank you, Ashe, mean thank you in my language. And you're welcome. And how do you yeah. say you're welcome? Uh, Hasa? Aya. 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 Aya.